Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, continuing on with uh, the series about how to you know, make a part for cutting on your CNC table. And I just want to show you a real quick, simple way, make up your drawing, you know, make the part you want to make. So you can see this is my CAD program right here. I'm using a, using a program called Geomagic Design. And it's basically just a mechanical CAD. So I just want to make a base plate for a sculpture that I'm working on. So I can just come up here and click my little circle icon, come right to the center of my drawing area, click one time and just drag out my circle. The measurement already shows up. You know, it shows up automatically. So I can just tell it I want 24 inches worth of diameter of the circle and ta-da, there it is. But I also can't forget to put my bolt holes in so I can bolt this puppy down once we get it to location. So that's just another click up here on the reference section. So what I'm doing is I'm actually making a line that technically doesn't matter except to show you where something is supposed to be. This will not show up on the drawing at all. So all this is doing is just giving me this green dashed line, square, level, straight. You know, I know I need my holes at these four corners right here. I can go back to my circle figure again and just click on it. The grid I have set up to be one inch square and I know I want to come in two inches from the outside edge. So it's real easy to just come up here to the top, come down two squares and put my circle. Again, the dimension pops right up. So I want to go point 685, which is 5 eighths of an inch. So I know my half inch diameter anchors are going to fit right down through that hole. And then just do it again over here, and do it again over here, and do it again over here. And now I've got my base plate made. I've got my circles cut, you know, my, my holes cut basically for my anchors to go in. And then I can just come over to the upper left hand corner and click deactivate the sketch and extrude the sketch right here and tell it I want 0.50 so half an inch and there's the base plate I want for my sculpture so all I need to do now is just save this as a DXF file which is what sheet cam wants to look at to be able to make it talk to the table itself now, I like to draw things three-dimensionally. That way I can see you know, the real part that I'm going to make. Sheet cam only needs a flat drawing. So if you think flat like an engineer, you're rather than three-dimensionally like a sculptor. So whether you're in you know, the drawing part of a CAD program or um, like Adobe Illustrator, you know, it, it will save as a DXF file also. So you can make these in Illustrator. You really don't need a CAD program as long as you know how to think flat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Just save it, export it, get it over to Sheet Cam where I can work with it over there. You guys are going to reach over there and hit that like button for me. Because every time you hit a like button, YouTube likes me a little bit better is all it does. And I do appreciate that. So I'm going to go to work. You guys go to work. I'll see you next time. Kevin, what are you looking at? That doesn't make any sense. Me, you're looking at me.